could use catch and interval 2 power by y smaller and equal to x smaller to 1 over modulus y for value y equal to minus 2 on a line number what is a line number actually okay let's go Hi, I'm Dr. Kai. So in this first lesson, you will learn about real numbers. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to distinguish between real numbers, related terms. Some of them you may have heard before and some of them, some of them are new for you. Okay, let's start with the power of number. So a number can be so powerful if you give power to them. So how to give a power to a number? So suppose that you have a number A, you give power as a sub, as a superscript, top, right, smaller than the number itself. For example, 2 power by 2. So this number, it has a power of 2. 2 power of 3, 100, 1000, 100 power of 37 so now you give the number powerful by giving its exponent or index okay for any value of a and b which is positive and x is y also a real number with positive or z including zero then we can use this identity to help us solve problem problem regarding to the number with power so for example a 2 uh, power by 2 times 2 power by 3 you will get 2 power 2 plus 3 which is 2 power by 5 2 power by 0 this is also equal to 1 any number power by 0 is just 1 okay and then 2 power by minus 2 it is equal to 1 over 2 power by 2 which is 1 over 4 okay and then 2 power 2 power 3 so you will just multiply them to 3 then you get 2 power by 6 and lastly 2 power by 2 and 3 power by 2 you can factorize them okay, factorize them and give them the same power so you will have 6 power by 2 which is 36 all right so these are useful uh, identity if you are involving if you are involved with the powers of numbers so let's move to the next equation okay so in physics usually we will uh, attach a symbol to represent something for example m for mass p for pa uh, power people momentum so those uh, physical quantity can have a mathematical um, mathematical operation so we can have an expression involving those variables for example x squared plus 2xy plus y squared this is mathematical expression this is mathematical expression but when you equate this expression with another expression or with another number, so you have some equity, then you have equation. Alright, so I think there is something wrong here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So when you have a x squared plus 2x equal to 1, so you have equation. Alright, so... Uh, there are many types of equation. One of them is identity. So identity means the, uh, of course, uh, the left side is equal to the right side, but they have different form. Okay, the different expression, but they have the same value. Okay, so that is identity, which is also maybe useful in our um, 
a scientific uh, job okay and we can also have inequality where something involves other than equal for example x is larger than 4 and small and uh, equal to 4 minus 3 smaller than or equal to x and smaller than x so this is inequality okay so this inequality uh, can be uh, understand better if we use number line now let's us get used with the number line so uh, the number line is uh, just a line with a number on it so that we can place a real number to that number line so we can have a number line uh, horizontal and we can have a uh, vertical and the thing that is useful for number line is to give us a reference so the easiest one is to give a reference of origin so the origin can have value zero so that anything right to it is a positive real number to the left of it is a negative real number same as the vertical one the upper or the upper uh, part will be will represent the increasing value of positive number in a positive if, if uh, below that it is in opposite way all right how it can be useful so we introduce you with an interval so inter an interval is a segment of the number line where it may include or ex uh, exclude or include endpoints so for example you are uh, you are given an infinite interval so infinite interval it has um, unlimited uh, n so for example x here smaller than 2 we can mark here 2 and because x is also equal to 2 that means 2 included in the interval and it is it is going to the left with no limit in finite we can also write it as infinity smaller than x smaller than include 2 so compared to another um, interval this is also 2 but it does not include the endpoint 2 and it is uh, toward the infinity okay next we go to the uh, modulus modulus is a positive number of something for example x is smaller and equal to 3 so we can have this is 3 this is a minus 3 so it include the number of 3 so the interval is between these two points okay this is the interval for the modulus of some number all right now we return back to the initial teaser that was introduced to you how you can sketch an interval you have learned about it line number and also you are given inequality here all right so two power y by y so refer back to the power of number so two power by negative two you can uh, transform to this uh, no, uh, this form and then this is absolute value minus two is is also equal to two and then you uh, re you uh, simplify them to numbers so that you can have a final interval is 0 0.25 smaller and equal to x smaller than to 0 0.5 so as i said before you have a number line you can mark a reference zero so that you can have 0 0.25 is the on the right side right and 0 0.5 is further on the right side and make sure here this is include 0 0.25 but not include 0, uh, include 0 0.5 then you have the interval here this is between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 including 0 0.25 itself all right so in the next lesson we will locate a point on the cartesian coordinate using our knowledge about number line so in the cartesian coordinate we can have two number line perpendicular to each other okay see you soon bye